to start anew. Yes. Now we're going to take some audience member questions. Absolutely. Uh, who has questions? Okay. I guess I'll start over here. Stand on up, please. Um, how many past lives can you have? Um, I don't think God says, you, stop it, enough. Um, <laughs> it depends on what's important to you. Some people, some souls, make a specialty of really short lives. They keep dying as children because they know that they can engineer lessons with the parents. You can have 30, you can have a couple of hundred. It depends. How often do you like coming down here? Um, what are your goals? What is the grand theme throughout your lives? But everybody's got them. And do you, what do you see for me as a past life? Give me your full name, please. First, middle, maiden, and last. Sandra A. or Ian Heiserman. And my maiden name was Griffin. OK, Sandra Hi Griffin Heiserman. Mm -hmm. All right, the first thing that I'm going to see for you is I have to tell you, it's 1920s. Uh, it's a football stadium. It looks like the Yale-Princeton game. You are screaming your guts out because your big brother is on the field. You are about seven, and it looks like you're, you're coming from a very large family because there are like seven or eight, or eight members of the family with you. And you are a little boy, so this is where you apparently got your love for the game. It's where you decided, I have to go to Yale, just like Bobby did. You do end up going to Yale. Uh, you end up, apparently, pre-med. You are rushed through medical school so that you can serve in the war. I see you dying somewhere uh, in the Pacific Theater. Um, Maybe baton. Maybe baton. You never got the chance to do the football that you wanted, but you held true to the family trust. And the family trust was you use your brain, you go to the family university, and you go out and make something of yourself. And you did that. You lost your life in the Pacific Theater, um, ministering to a friend. You died of snake bite. You got him out of the way, but you were too busy taking care of this other soldier, and you couldn't get your own venom out in time. Well, does that have any connection today? Do you I, feel anything? I hate football. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, Do you see any connection that might have with today? I think it's the lesson about um, family, uh, following family footsteps, and Again, making something of yourself in the world. There might be some issues about, have I done enough? Um, you're a soul that is very, what's the word I'm looking for? Dedicated to what you need to do. You usually don't need fancy. You don't need glitz. The thing that your soul always wants is the mind, is the intellect. Some people, you know, well, I can be just kind of normal in the brain as long as I've got money. Or I don't care about the money as long as I'm famous. With your soul, it's always the mind. The mind has to grow. The mind has to be useful. And that's true. I love learning. There you go. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We had another one over here. Stand up, please. Uh, can I ask you about uh, what's coming up for me? Am I going to be doing something that I really love again? OK, your name, please. Would you want the whole thing? Uh, no, for not past lives, it's just your name. OK, Donna. All right, Donna. And your birthday, month, and day? Uh, 6 15 42. OK. Because uh, I do a little numerology here. 6 plus 15 I'm is? I'm a 1. <coughs> Pardon? I'm a 1. No, 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 no. This, oh. this is a little different. This is, um, we all know we're like a Pisces or a Leo. But thank you. Um, nice that's where we were when we were born. Then we get our progress chart, which is how things are moving. Everyone has a personal year that goes January to January. Mm -hmm. And you figure that out by taking your month and day. So with you, it's 6 plus 15, mm -hmm. which is 21. But then you add this year's master number of 2. You get that 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 9 is 11. 1 mm -hmm. plus 1 is 2. So 21 plus 2 is 23. You always bring it down to a single number. That's a 5-year. 
Oh. A, okay, a five year is a roller coaster, no brakes, Yahoo lady, tanks are rolling, take no prisoners, take the risk here. If you want to get back to what you adore, it is time for you to stop saying to any physical ability or people who say you can't do it, two magic phrases. Thank you for, for sharing with me, and you may think that if you wish. I see nothing stopping you. You're just going to have to come into it through the back door. You will not be able to take the normal route that you took before. You have to start thinking outside the box. You can do it. Does this include like problems with physical disabilities that are new to me? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, unless you're on an iron lung, <laughs> I believe that we can work with physical challenges. Mm -hmm. I don't consider you disabled. I think you're differently abled. <laughs> there are ways to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, you could have both hands off at the wrist and there are people who paint holding a paintbrush I, in their I, mouths. Yeah, yeah. Do you see this coming? People keep telling me about the spring. No later than July, because I'm seeing fireworks. No later than July, you can make okay. this happen. All right, well, thank you very much. You thank go, you for the, the comfort. <laughs> she kept me warm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who else had questions? Okay, go back here. Uh, she wasn't going to ask you anything, but look. I am too now, and I cannot wait to book my party with you. Um, a couple of different things. I'd like to see where I'm going, but I'd really like to know. You know, I have a very happy life. I have a husband. I have three kids. I'm very satisfied, but I, I've never, ever felt like I belong here now, like I always was supposed to be someplace else. Someplace else as in on the planet or off the planet? A different time. A different time. Definitely on the planet. Okay. A time. No, I ask that because there are some people who <clears throat> always say, I feel like I don't belong here. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Okay. I, I, All right. No, I a different time. Give me your full name, please. Amy Elaine. Peterson was my maiden name, DBSC. Okay. Because there's a past life for you, Amy. Hang on a second. Okay. Um, for you, I'm getting someplace looks like um, north coast of Maine, Halifax, Nova Scotia. And I'm seeing you with one of those long telescopes. And you were... You were married to one of the one of the seafarers, so one of the lobsters. That's a girl, because I was going to ask you that. It seems like everything that you mentioned, the woman was a man. That just happens to be the two past lives that they needed. We all switch back and forth. Um, nobody is just one sex the whole way through, because that's not how we learn. Okay. You were a girl. Uh, you were married to um, one of the, the fishermen, longshoremen, whatever they call them up there. Um, and you had been a big city girl, and you thought you could never, ever get out of, uh, it looks like it was uh, someplace like Boston. But you fell in love, you married a Canadian, took you up to the Maritimes, and there, with the quiet and the wide open sands and your own snug house and not having to pay attention to what all the Boston Brahmin blue bloods used to say, you always felt you'd finally come home and you died away from there, but on your deathbed you said, the only place I'm at home is on the island, on Nova Scotia, take me back even if it's ashes. So there is a very strong feel That's for so you. Me. What? That's so me. Yeah, yeah, 1850s, 1860s. If you go up to Halifax, Nova Scotia, Make sure that you have somebody to drag you back. You're going to fall back in love with it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Very nice, Corby. Give her a hand. Yes.